I don't want to sound hysterical, but I saw someone. Oh. You won't lose me so easily, you bastard! The judge pages. tried to strangle me. So the judge tried to strangle me, and he would have succeeded if it wasn't for the man in the top hat and mask. He killed Judge Norton right in front of me. He cut his throat. It looks like he was trying to save me, but why? So my theory is that the man in the top hat and the mask is his dad, who's been missing, because his name his name is literally Jacob Hyde, Jackal and Hyde. <laughs> so I think it's his dad, um, and because he's wearing a mask, he can't tell it's his dad. It's a spooky one. So we're I'm, I'm gonna get scared very quickly. Because this game is that she does the spooky. Really Christ, well. I can't do it on my own. There's so much blood. Dear God, is this one of the guests? I don't know. Go get someone. He'll bleed to death. Press on the wound. I'll get help. The janitor is upstairs. Room 207. Where are you? Who is this? Easy. Don't try to get up. Good Lord. No one will ever talk me into a mountain trip again. There he is. Looks like that missing fellow. The detective showed guests his dagger type. Detective? You mean that nosy fop Walter Gilman? Holy mother of God! Fresh. I have to telegraph the sheriff. No, this man needs a doctor. Uh, I've seen wounds like this. It's only a matter of minutes. I'm sorry, son. These voices. There are so many of them. Wait, wait. I, I think I've heard this conversation before. Those... They said that a certain detective, Walter Gilman, looked for the judge. He was Walter Gilman. If he was interested in missing people from the area, he might know something about my father's disappearance as well. 207. Maybe at the reception desk I can find out his room number. Didn't they just say it? It's 207. That noise. It's stuck for good. That's no use. Oh, we lost that gun. Damn it. I liked that gun. It was the janitor who usually kept the reception keys in room 207. That's not my imagination. There's like a random back noise going on. Okay. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh god, really? Immediately? Okay, well we're starting from immediately with coconut or spoiled milk. Which I haven't had the bad one of yet. I got coconut. Woo! Uh, what's this? The diamond. A lump of pyrite from my father's mine. Some call it gold's fall, but it was brought considerably wealth to the hide and all my head family. It sounds like fucking Smeagol. Jesus, can I get into any of these rooms? I'm not alone. I could have fucking told you that, to be honest, mate. I could, I could have fucking told you that. Can I close the door behind me? Ain't in that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just spin my wheel. Spin my wheel. I don't want to talk about it. I'm just going to spin my wheel. Yep. Yep. Again, I got the nice one. I'm going to have like only bad ones left soon. I guess we just like a rotation of this area, I'm guessing. And maybe the ghost is actually just leading me. Can you fucking not? God, who 
Who is this? What is he doing here? He's leading the way. Like, 100%, I think he's leading the way to where we have to go. Because if I check... Yeah, he's leading the way. Oh, wait, we're right next to where we need to be. And then this is the room I need. It's all glowy for me, apparently. But, oh, it's locked. Oh, no. Wait. Damn, there's a chain! It was coming as well. So sharp. Maybe I could use it to cut through the chain. Got a nice one here. <laughs> okay then. Oh yeah. Give me that oil. Fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you. Dear Mr. Hyde, my wife and I had hoped that the week we were to spend at your establishment would be as pleasant and saving as an experience as is it will advertise in your brochures. Indeed, the forest provides a calming ambience, and long walks in Chris Mountain Air are surely beneficial for the health. Unfortunately, this is all the praise I can offer. Um, and I'm only writing it out of courtesy. Every single night, some deranged brat would haunt the hallways of the inn, running wildly, laughing hysterically, and repeatedly knocking on our doors. I tried to scold him multiple times, but... Fucking reading here. He would always manage to run from me or hide somewhere. It was evident that he knew every nook and cranny of the place. The realisation came only on the day of our departure, when I saw him entering your office. That little bugger wasn't the child of your guests, left on supervised tests to the other visits. visitors. He was your son. If you can't keep your own child in check and you allow him to ruin your guests along the way of vacation, you're surely not fit to run an inn. Rest assured that I will relate this outrageous story to all our acqu my acquaintances and I'm quite a well-known figure in Providence, and that my wife and I will give you in a wide berth in the future. We've got a good one again. Into the room we go. What you got Wait, what the? The door just... Oh. What? Oh. I say. <laughs> what was that? Where did it try to drag me? To hell, maybe? What have I gotten into? To your fucking mind, lady. It ain't about that. It ain't about that. All right. Okay. Well, uh, I guess we're somewhere else now. What the fuck? Something's gonna happen the moment I take this, and I'm scared. I saw like this can be used to cut through all sorts of metal obstacles, such as chains and that. This should cut through the chain in the janitor's room. That's loud! That's loud! Poor soul. He spent most of his life here, and after death, he's still the inn's janitor. But now for eternity. Oh, see. The guests, from what I can see, are sure to cause trouble. Okay, so he's cottoned on in that, like, this place is haunted as fuck. Oh, it's time for a second. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Something opened, and I don't know what it was. Was it this? Oh, oh. I didn't even notice the fucking body. I'm good at this. Mr. Jacob keeps telling me to lay off the bottle. He says that I'm seeing things, but I swear that it's all real. 
I do it because I'm afraid. If something lurks in those forests. I've heard some inhumane screams in the trees and howling in the cave. I've seen claw marks on the bark. Mr. Jacob says, calm down, you drunkard, you'll scare away the guests. What if they should be afraid? How many people have gone to the forest and never come back? My god, I can hear they are here, this howling again. I won't find any rest tonight if I don't take a swig or two. Uh, can be used to access room 106 and the hallway leading to the second hallway of the inn. chocolate pudding like it's a it's a really weak taste though so it took me a second to figure out I like how I can look over at my heart rate when it's like oh it's a nice nice calm 95 and before it was over 100 do not open we're gonna have to open it aren't we that fucking weirdo wanted to blow me up I managed to subdue the bastards and lock him up in the rooms my god, may god watch over you if you ever enter the B-Ring, the combination to the padlock is anger. Is it actually just going to be anger? Oh, it is. You know, when something says do not open, you don't open it. But apparently we're opening it. And something bad is going to happen. <laughs> Hi music. Um, um. Anyone else hear that sudden tempo increase? It's almost like we've gone somewhere we're not supposed to. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I thought there had to be something to do with this because it was like standing out. Oh no. This ain't gonna be good. I'm like just calling that right now. John, everything went as planned. Yes, my dearest brother, we have reached the final finale of our masterpiece. I've managed to procure a uniform from a Union soldier, soldier and go all the way to the Northern Reaches of Massachusetts. On my way, I've slaughtered three traitors of our sweet land. Those. I'm not saying that word. That's built on our flag. I must have got lost in the world this day. And instead of the well, I found myself in some backwards. Thankfully, God has guided me to find an abandoned inn where I am making final preparations while staying in the prayers. You know what that means? Yes, God is on our side, brother. He too wants our work to come to fruition. So the days of Abraham Lincoln and his curse followers are numbered. I hope you've made it safely to Montreal. I trust God protects you the way he protects me. God bless the Confederacy. God bless Jefferson Davis. Dr. James W. Booth. So, the Union uniform was just a disguise. It's all getting more and more mysterious. This must be what that disturbed janitor was writing about. Looks like he died a long time ago. He's gonna fucking come at me, isn't he? I'm waiting for it. I don't hear- Ooh, hello. Those things are back. These damn roots again! They seem too tough for me just to break them. I can't deal with it with my bare hands. I need some kind of sharp tool. Um... I have a problem. Where the fuck did he go? Go. Help! Help! 
I will relieve you of your life, you Yankee bastard! You can't stop the assassination! We can make papers lies! <laughs> That's why it burns. That's why it burns down. Hi, Nifty. I forgot I could have raided you. Oops. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <coughs> well, we're alive. That guy is, um, splattered everywhere. Uh, Ducky, can you give Nifty a shout out, please? Can't hear audio or chrome, just here to look at your face. I mean, it's a pretty face. <laughs> yeah, now we can go. Somewhere. How many, how many bean boozles do I have to take at this point? Because I think I've done it in a while. Ah! That didn't taste any good. Oh god, I've still got the off taste. Time to get spooked. By our dad's old partner. Hey, the whisper's back. You were supposed to check every possibility, Norton. You're a judge, and you should know how to bend the law without breaking it. The contract states you can both hand over your shares without each other's consent. I'm sorry, George, but you signed it yourself. I never thought that bastard would try to outwit me, and that his demented spawn would sneak into the mine. What do you expect? The brat cannot inherit. We have to persuade that old fart somehow, or we'll end up with nothing! Did that really happen? Did they plot against my father and me? Okay then. Reception. All I have to do is go back to the reception desk and find Gilman in the guest registry. Wednesday, September 13th, 1854, Blackstone, New Hampshire, Monday, September 11th. The sheriff issues an arrest warrant for Jacob Hyde and Lyman Indona. Hyde is accused of murdering George John Norton, who, badly wounded, passed away upon arrival at the end. A $500 reward is being offered. So we've already seen what happened between the two ghosts. It's just confirming my suspicion that his dad is the dude in the um, hat and mask. Mr. Hyde, I've already written to you multiple times but have never received a reply, so I'm asking again. Do you really not remember my brother Henry, who stayed at your inn two months ago? He is 31 years old, tall, slim, and wears glasses. He came to your establishment seeking some peace and quiet after a recent breakdown. As a young artist, he was planning to paint landscapes. He has always loved the serene atmosphere of this region and said that these mountains and forests struck the right chord in his soul. As I've mentioned in my previous letters, my brother never returned home. Blackstone was the last place he was seen. I cannot dismiss the possibility that he may have taken his own life as it was full of suffering, but I hope this is not the case. Maybe you can recall some details that would help me solve the mystery of Henry's disappearance. Is Henry one of the people that we found? Is that the guy that we found dead in our house? It might be. No, that was still George Norton, I think he was chasing. Thought it was gonna happen. Oh! Oh! Okay! We're running! We're running, apparently. We're running, apparently. We're running. We're running. Fucking book it. Oh my, what the fuck? Um, um, where do I, where do I go, where do I go, where do I go, where do I go? I don't know where I went, I don't know where I was meant to go there. Okay. Okay.
done it? Have I got away from them? I think that's it. I think I've done it. Whoa! Oh, our strength. Yeah. May have told the angry spirits where we are, though. Okay. So. Ah! Motherfucker! 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 And this, what I got is coconut or spoiled milk. We got lucky, we only had coconut so far. That's the battle, that's the battle. That's the battle. The detective was staying in room 203. That's upstairs. It looked like he never checked out. I mean, there I wanna... should be a spare key somewhere. I want to guess he never checked out because he died. Oh. Okay then. Faces. <laughs> key for room two hundred three is missing. But maybe. Maybe I can get there from room two hundred two. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so it's a fly. Okay. Um. There we go. Oh, now we use. Ah. Oh. Okay, now we use this bit. Quickly, I need to hide. Right, okay. Okay. Should have just stayed where I was. Okay. So 202 is right here. He's guarding. Okay, running didn't work. Don't do that. Okay, I thought, I thought maybe if I shut the door it would. Yeah. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna do it, Tom. I have to move. This is not a good hiding spot. Gilman! Open the door! We need to talk, just you and me. Greetings, Mr. Hyde. Got the pleasantries. I know what you're up to. I don't really know why you're so upset. I really... You aren't the only hack who thought he could sniff out a scoop. But I'm not looking for a scoop. I just want to sort this out. There's something unsettling going on in this charming little corner of the world. So many people have gone missing, including your friend, Judge John Norton. I want to find him. Please. That's my sole motivation. You can shove him up your ass! You want to prove I'm responsible for his vanishing, because you're just desperately looking for a story that will get you publicity. The word publicity sounds strange, coming from someone specializing in sweeping things under the rug. Two years have passed since the incident in the mine, and many things still remain unclear. People lost their lives. Many others have gone missing since. And you act like it was just a minor incident. It was an accident. A tragic accident that cost the lives of my employees and ruined my business. That's all. Oh, I'm afraid that's not all. Ever since then, people have gone missing in the area. Many people, even guests of this establishment. Enough! 
I want you out of my inn by tomorrow. Do you hear me? Right. His parents died right after the accident at the mine. I'm aware that the neighborhood isn't very safe with all the forests, mountains, swamps, caves, and whatnot. But I don't believe that it's all a coincidence. I also find it hard to believe that the explosion was a mere accident, even though Jacob's version was confirmed by the investigating officers. One of the locals told me that right before the explosion, Hyde had brought several barrels of gunpowder to his lot. I'm going to go to the mine and check the shaft for evidence that Hyde could have left there. The sheriff might have overlooked something, or he might have been bribed. Maybe that would shed some light on the disappearances. The detective went to the mine that day. Nobody knows if he ever came back. I must retrace his steps. There may still be traces of what happened back then. I vaguely remember the accident, but... Gunpowder barrels? Missing people? What's happened here? My father was a cruel man, I can't deny that. But would he be capable of killing in cold blood? I guess I'll have to go down into the mine. Great. That's just great. Don't want to go to the mine. Nope, nope, nope. Wow. This ain't good. I must have lost my mind. Um right. This situation Is it only in my head. Pretty sure it's not at this point. We're following the footsteps we were um, led by the dude with the lamp. I think I'm going mad. Well, thank you for all the oil. Uh, I appreciate. Oh boy. This is gonna be bad. Keep running. We got it. Keep running. What the fuck are you doing there? What the fuck are you doing there?
Oh, no, I didn't. That was the end. Okay.